مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ ضُرِبَ مَثَلٌ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ لَنْ يَخْلُقُوا ذُبَابًا وَلَوْ اجْتَمَعُوا لَهُ وَإِنْ يَسْلُبُهُمُ الذُّبَابُ شَيْئًا لَا يَسْتَنْقِذُوهُ مِنْهِ ضعف الطالب والمطلوب الله العظيم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل نقطة من لساني يفقه قولي I greet you with the universal greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you I'd like to share with you some ideas today regarding psychological disorders that exist predominantly in the United States and the Western world that are affecting many a household and many of our youth and many of our families that we don't seem to have an answer for. We sought the answer with the church, we sought the answer with psychiatry, we sought, we sought the answer with medicine. People are on Prozac, antidepressants, people are seeking counseling and it doesn't seem to be making the situation better. It actually seems to be piling up and increasing and it's something that's a very serious concern for the healthy growth, the intellectual, spiritual growth of a nation, that they address the psychological, the mental, the spiritual disorders that exist in that society. In that light, I'd like to share with you one ayah, one sign, one verse of the Qur'an, where Allah says, Ya ayyuhal nas, an example is being struck, O mankind, Ya ayyuhal nas, O all of mankind, ضُرِبَ مَثَلًا an example, a parable is being given, فَاسْتَمِعُولَ then listen to it carefully. Before I go on, one thing that we should appreciate about all human beings is that we are weak in the sense that we don't pay attention to the ideas, rather we pay more attention to the one giving the idea. So perhaps when you're looking at me, you already have certain conclusions made about what I will say or what I carry in me. So before I even get to say it, you've made your decision, either in a, in a positive sense or in a negative one. And this idea weakens the fact that what I have to say, whether it is in, in, it, in and of itself valid or not. And this weakness of the human being is, in, is being addressed in this verse by Allah making it in the passive voice. ضُرِبَ مَثَلٌ The example is being struck. Allah didn't say here, God strikes an example, Allah strikes an example. He said an example is being struck. Meaning that the focus, the attention that has to be paid is to the example, the content, the idea that's being presented itself. Forget for a moment who is giving you this idea. Forget for a moment the face that you're looking at. Forget for a moment the book that this idea is coming from. Just pay attention to the content itself. Evaluate it for what it's worth. ضُرِبَ مَثَلٌ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ And attention is being, uh, an, an example, I'm sorry, is being given. Pay due attention to it. Pay your focus, your attention to it. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ لَنْ يَخْلُقُوا ذُبَابًا Those who are calling on other than God, the ultimate God, Allah, they couldn't even create a single fly. Some of you probably are wondering why I'm calling him Allah. Why don't I just call him God? Well, the, the term God is a, has German roots and it's actually something alien to classical Semitic culture. And even in Hebrew and classical versions of the, the Bible that were translated into Arabic, the term Allah was used for God. So it's not something alien to the, to the Christian world. Actually, the term God is more recent and the term Allah, even to the Christian and Jewish phenomenon, like Elohim and Eloh, which are the same roots in Arabic as Allah, are common words. So it's, though it sounds today with all the, the hype about Islam and all the terms that are used, that Allah is the name of some strange God, it's actually something very familiar to those of knowledge from the Christian and Jewish tradition. But back to the subject that I was referring to. The example itself is that those who call on other than Allah, they couldn't even create a fly. Then يَخْلُقُوا ذُبَابًا They would never be able to even engineer a fly. They may be able to create airplanes or uh, you know, computers, networks. They may be able to create you know, masses of armies. They may be able to, able to design skyscrapers. They may be able to produce massive amounts of incredible technology. But God's example in this ayah, Allah's example in this ayah is referring to a very small creature, a fly. They couldn't even design and engineer one single fly. And then he says, وَلَوِجْتَ Even if they all got together and tried to create one single fly, they couldn't do it. Why is this example being struck and why is that so important? It's a means of humbling the human being. 
We've become a people that appreciate the things around us so we can benefit from them. But we don't have an appreciation for the things around us, around us that are giving us a sign that these are creations of a higher force. The, the harmony in every plant, in every tree, in every cloud that's floating in the air, every fly and every bird that's floating in the air. It's reflecting, it's, it's pointing us in a direction that we're refusing to look at because we're too centered towards ourselves. So we're being humbled by this small, tiny example of a fly. But the example doesn't stop here. Allah says, وَإِن يَسْلُبُ يَسْلُبْهُمُ الذُّبَابُ شَيْئًا لَا يَسْتَنْقِذُهُ مِنْهُ If the fly itself tried to take, it took away something from your food. It took something away from you, a tiny speck of your food. It doesn't matter if you're the president. It doesn't matter if you're the general of a great army. It doesn't matter if you're a millionaire or a homeless person. Whoever you are, how, how much ever power you may have, that one speck of food that this fly took away from you, no matter what you do, you cannot get that speck back. You can kill the fly or you could try. You could try and catch it. But this tiniest example is humbling the human being. In that no matter how much wealth he amasses and how much status he has in a society, he is still humbled by the smallest creation of God. So he, here, God is reminding us to be humble. To, be ref, to reflect on His creations, even the smallest of them, that can lead us to humble ourselves before our Master.